What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be running through the injury reports. This is the final injury report video. Well of course until Sunday when we go through the preview because Friday's practice is now over. So let's get it started. No, I got a shout out Dose of Dion man because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And uh, you know guys don't know Dose of Dion. He put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. Welcome everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. And yes, yes, I'm excited to bring you guys this final injury report day for Friday. That means it's almost the weekend, which means it's almost game day. Now, before we get into that, I do want to let you guys know that I do have a defensive video coming out a little bit later, but I'm going to do this one first because this is more breaking news. That one's not necessarily breaking news, but it is something that I wanted to discuss. So I'll put this video out first. So let's dive into this injury report. There are still some questions that are up in the air, but we're going to start off with the Jacksonville Jaguars first who seemingly have some good news. C.J. Henderson and Miles Jack are supposed to play on Sunday. So it looks like they will be returning their seventh pick in the draft and their top linebacker. So that's big. They didn't have those two guys last week. That's going to be huge. That really helps their front seven, to hopefully for them, stop the run. And also C.J. Henderson, who I think they're definitely going to need when you're going against a top receiving group like this. Now, that doesn't mean the Lions are all of a sudden not going to be able to throw the ball. They should still be able to throw all over the field. But this is a big help for them, knowing that they have to go against a two-headed monster. Or I should honestly say more than a two-headed monster. Like, this is a really weird-looking monster. I'm just saying. If it has more than one head, it's already weird-looking. All right, monster's already weird-looking. Now you give them two heads, like, what are we looking at here? Like, this is some dragon tails type of stuff. Those two guys are back. Also, there's a lot of questionables. This is kind of just a lot of questionables right now for the Jacksonville Jaguars, which is DJ Chark, Josh Allen, Tyler Eifert, Avery Jones, and also, who's this? Dakota Allen. Who's this? I can't read my own handwriting. So those five guys are listed as questionable. Now, a couple of key notes here. DJ Chark. All right, we got to hear from Doug Marone earlier today, I would say a few hours ago, when he talked about DJ Chark's health status. And he sounds like he feels like DJ Tark is going to be good to go and he will be playing, even though he is listed as questionable. I can throw in that clip if I have it. Getting better. And I think, um, you know, I, I feel I feel good about DJ. You know, he practiced, you know, on a limited basis today. But, you know, we ran some routes in uh, team periods and looked good. So, um, you know, he's a guy that always fights to get out there. But I think, you know, obviously, like I said, with uh, LaVisca, you know, the, the limited practices kind of limits us a little bit, you know what I'm saying, of going out there and doing a bunch of stuff with them. Our name to keep an eye on is Josh Allen, their defensive end. He also, I believe, did miss week, last weekend's game, but he did not participate today. So I don't know if they're just trying to make sure that, okay, you get two days off, but there was no participation from Josh Allen today. He is still listed as questionable. So just a lot of questionables there, but they will be returning their top two of their top players in Miles Jack and also in CJ Henderson. So just a lot of questionables. I mean, just... A lot of things up in the air right now. Another Ifrey can't go who's listed as questionable with a neck injury. Then uh, expect to see O'Shaughnessy a lot more. But that's that's really how that's looking for them. Those are kind of the key things to look at. Also, the LaVisca Chenault is supposed to be playing. He's supposed to be in. He's not listed as questionable. He should be in for Sunday's game, even though he had limited participation. And, uh, yeah, because he didn't show up on the injury report. So, there you go. That's your Jaguars update. Now let's move on to our Detroit Lions side of things. And we got a lot of things to talk about here. Let me just say that. Let's start off with the guy that has been listed out. The first, I would, this is the first player listed out. Well, it is Desmond Trufant. Desmond Trufant is listed out for Sunday's game. So, after a hamstring injury that he dealt with late versus New Orleans Saints, no particip participation whatsoever this entire week. That's that's really concerning. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping this is something that doesn't even go into ne go, go next week as well. Because not participating at all can be concerning. But the Lions were just like, hey, look, you can't play. We're, we're not going to practice Friday anyways. So no participation from Desmond Trufant. CJ Moore, full participation. Listed as questionable, but full participation. That's a great sign. be nice to get CJ Moore back out there dealing with that calf injury. And Frank Ragnow, limited. Yesterday, no participation. Today, limited. He is listed as questionable. He could go if he can't. Who's that next center up? Seems like a lot of people believe it's going to be Joe Dahl, who did play in the preseason at center back in 2017-18, like that kind of season. So it's been a while, but, you know, he has done it before. He has that experience again. But don't don't count out Logan Stenberg, who had that opportunity in training camp to play both. And also, of course, Bo Benshaw, who looks like is technically our backup center right now. Also, Adrian Peterson, there's no designation for him right now. A lot of no de designations for the Lions. But Adrian Peterson, I think he's going to play. He had full participation today. He was dealing with an illness, so it wasn't an injury. So good thing. I think he took my advice he probably put that blanket in the dryer he felt real good and i was like i told you dog i told you he actually messaged me that 
No, I'm kidding. He didn't do that. But Adrian Peterson, full participation, looks like he will play. So that could mean that Bo Scarborough may not be activated. And the reason I say that is because the Lions have placed Hunter Bryant on injury reserve. Now, someone asked me about this yesterday, and I was like, man, you, you probably are just going to place him on IR because he hasn't played. It's, you know, the, your fifth fifth game and he hasn't played yet. The guy just can't seem to get healthy. A concussion and hamstring. It's like, man, I hate this because it seemed like he's going to be a big weapon. And now they put him on IR. I mean, you obviously don't know week to week because sometimes he practice, sometimes he doesn't. So the Lions are probably just like, we're close but we don't want to push it and now they place him on IR and they kind of added that to make some room for Joe Dahl to come back I believe it's going to be Joe Dahl that comes back because Justin Coleman we have no word on him since you know they decided that they could bring him back but Justin Coleman I don't think he's practiced at all so Justin Coleman is not going to be playing this weekend from what I understand also Bo Scarborough and Michael Ford are two guys that are eligible to return but the Lions only placed Hunter Bryant on IR so from my understanding Bo Scarborough and Michael Ford won't be able to be activated unless the Lions make some kind of move very very soon to make space for them we'll keep you guys updated with that but Bo Scarborough I was thinking he may be activated the Lions may make a move but Sanchez and Peterson was full participation and he could probably go they don't need the fourth running back and then for Michael Ford you know I thought that could be possibly an option with Desmond Trufant out and Coleman out, but it looks like the Lions are probably going to rock uh, with Ford still on IR technically for now. Deshaun Hand, Christian Jones, and Nick Williams, full participation. It looks like those three guys will go as they had no designation. So Lions are getting kind of healthy. There's just some big questions here, okay? There's questions with Adrian Peterson. It looks like he's going to go. Hunter Brown on IR it really stinks, but it looks like Joe Dahl is kind of that guy that's hopping in because now there's room for him to get back to the active roster. And Frank Ragnow, that's the biggest question mark. Is he going to play? Will Frank play? If not, again, it's probably going to be Joe Dahl as the backup, which could look like uh, Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, Joe Dahl, Big V, and then uh, who we got at the right tackle spot? Oh, Terrell Crosby. So kind of like all out of position there, but that could be potentially what it looks like. So that is your injury report. So what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about this injury report? And we will dive into the defense a little bit later. Let me know your thoughts, comments below. Sunday's the game. I'm excited. Thank you for watching. And I'm out. Are you kidding me right now? I had to put my helmet on. For this one. Are you kidding? Look at this. Look at all these members. What? What? Yo. Hey. Shout out to all the members, man. Look, look how many all pro members there are. Like, literally, it's the whole screen, dog. This is crazy. The patrons. Of course, the Hall of Fame members, man. Y'all got the gold color. It's kind of yellow, but it's supposed to be gold. Shout out to all the members, man. If you want to be a part of this, all you got to do is join the channel. But there are perks that come with it. Stay locked in the community tab if you are a member because that's where a lot of information comes out. I appreciate all of you. What?